What if everything you were taught about Filipino ancestry was just the surface of something far older, far deeper, something that lives inside every cell of your body? This isn't folklore, this is science. The genetic story of the Filipino people is being unraveled strand by strand and what scientists are discovering is shaking the foundations of Southeast Asian history. The truth is the islands of the Philippines hold some of the most ancient and diverse human DNA on the planet. From mysterious hominins to the world's first ocean navigators, the Filipino story stretches across continents, across millennia. And today, we dive headfirst into it. The Philippines is often described as a tropical paradise, a cluster of over 7,000 islands blessed with sun, sea, and sand. But beneath that idyllic surface lies a geological and genetic gold mine. These islands weren't just stopovers in history, they were destinations, they were homes. For decades, scholars believed that the islands were settled in a linear fashion. Migrants from Taiwan came down bringing farming and language, and they shaped the Filipino identity. But recent genetic research proves otherwise. The Philippines is not just a melting pot, it's an ancient crucible, where waves of human migrations collided, mixed, and evolved independently. Before there were Malays, Chinese traders, or Spanish galleons, there were the Negritos. Groups like the Ayeta, Agta, Ati, and Mamanwa represent some of the earliest branches of the human family tree outside Africa. Genetic studies have found that these indigenous tribes carry DNA markers that predate even the earliest known migrations into East Asia. Their features, dark skin, tightly curled hair, and short stature, are not simply regional quirks. They are living proof of the first humans to step foot on these islands over 50,000 years ago. These groups are not just culturally distinct, genetically they are among the most unique populations on Earth. In 2019, an astonishing discovery in Kalao Cave, Luzon, rocked the global scientific community. The remains of a previously unknown human species, named Homo luzonensis, this ancient hominin lived on the islands more than 67,000 years ago. Although we haven't yet extracted DNA from Homo luzonensis, the shape of their bones suggests a blend of primitive and modern traits. Their presence confirms that the Philippines was not a remote afterthought in human migration but a vital crossroad. These islands were inhabited long before many parts of Europe or Asia. Every fossil unearthed here whispers of a forgotten era. Around 4,000 years ago, another major migration reshaped the Philippine gene pool. Seafaring peoples from Taiwan arrived, bringing rice agriculture, advanced tools, and Austronesian languages. Rather than wiping out the Negritos, these newcomers intermarried, forming the genetic base of many modern Filipino communities. This mixing gave rise to a uniquely layered identity, where ancient bloodlines blend with later migrations, creating a cultural and genetic mosaic unlike any other in Asia. Modern genetic surveys of the Filipino population have revealed something remarkable. Filipinos possess one of the most diverse sets of genes in all of Asia. Some islands, especially those with isolated indigenous groups, have preserved lineages not found anywhere else on Earth. Meanwhile, coastal areas and trade hubs show evidence of Indian, Chinese, Arab, and even Polynesian admixture, thanks to centuries of commerce long before colonizers arrived. The Filipino genome is not uniform. It's a living map of migrations, interactions, and adaptation. Colonial impact was more cultural than genetic. Spanish colonization reshaped the Philippines, but mostly on the surface. It changed religion, surnames, and governance. However, when researchers examined the genetic influence of Spain, they found something surprising. It was minimal. Despite 333 years of rule, less than 2% of Filipino DNA can be traced back to Iberia. The Filipino genome remained predominantly indigenous, deeply rooted in its Austronesian and Negrito past. This fact challenges the narrative that colonization defined identity. In truth, it only masked it. Genomics isn't just unlocking the past, it's helping secure the future. With the rise of personalized medicine, understanding specific genetic markers in Filipino populations is becoming vital. For instance, certain indigenous groups have unique immune responses or rare genetic disorders that are often overlooked in global research. By understanding Filipino DNA, doctors can better predict disease risks and tailor treatments that work for specific communities. This is especially important for remote tribal areas and OFW populations exposed to new environments abroad. 
Geneticists have discovered Filipino DNA markers that show up not just in neighboring Indonesia or Malaysia, but thousands of miles away in Madagascar and Melanesia. How? Because Austronesian navigators were among the greatest sailors in human history. Long before European explorers crossed oceans, these seafarers had already reached the coasts of East Africa and the Pacific Islands. Filipino blood runs through the veins of distant tribes across vast oceans, a testament to the early maritime genius of their ancestors. So what does all of this mean for what it means to be Filipino? It means that Filipino identity is not the product of colonization, it's the inheritance of tens of thousands of years of migration, survival, and adaptation. It means that to be Filipino is to be part of one of the oldest and most resilient lineages in human history. Whether you're in Luzon or Mindanao, Manila or California, your DNA is a living testament to endurance and exploration. Next time someone asks you about your heritage, don't just say Spanish, Chinese or Malay. Say this. I come from the first ocean navigators, from cave dwellers and astronomers, from forgotten kingdoms and unbroken tribes. My blood carries fire, coral and storm. You are not the end of a story, you are its latest chapter. And the DNA you carry, it's not just information, it's identity, it's legacy, it's power.